Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new leagues video. We will be starting today's episode on 44,180 points, comfortably relaxing in the rune tier. But the goal is obviously to push for that dragon tier. And in the last episode, we worked on a lot of stats. We are currently 2,270 in total, and the plan is to get as close to max level as possible. At this point, I don't know if I will reach it, I don't know if I won't. So that being said, let's just jump right into it. I will start off today by doing a little bit of smithing. There's still a bunch of tasks that I need to do in this area, and we're starting on 91. Okay, let's take a look how much XP do we get for basically mainly rune stuff. 339,000. That is ridiculously good. I want to see if I do only rune bars, if it's any better. Also, I already have a Colossal Blade, but there is a task for me to have the Smiths set on me as well. So I guess we might as well start buying this. So let's go ahead and start with a body then. Oh, and it's a collection log pop-up as well. Nice. Okay, so let's see. I, I know this is... Probably not efficient, right? But I just want to see if there's a difference in XP. So we're going to throw all of them. Usually I put 9 rune bars and the rest adamant. Yeah, only 178k because the sword was like half of the quality. So definitely I'm just going to be using 9 rune bars and the rest adamant bars for sure. Today's video is sponsored by Ray Shadow Legends. Raid was the first game that ever sponsored our channel, years ago at this point, and they are back to tell you more about this fantasy-style free-to-play RPG. Raid has a lot to offer. They have captivating lore, tons of PvP and PvE content, stunning graphics and well over 800 champions to collect and use in your battles. The game is available on Android, iOS and PC and you can download it for free from my link in the description or you can simply scan the QR code on the screen. By using my link you will also receive Lightsworn who is an amazing Great Void epic who brings increased defense buff but also revive on death skill. And not only that, if you level your account all the way to level 15 you will also receive Juliana who is a phenomenal boss killer. In addition to Lightsworn and Juliana, you can also obtain one more champion by entering one of the four free champion promo codes that Raid was kind enough to present to us. The way you enter one of these codes is by simply hitting the tab on the left hand side of the bastion and select promo codes. I have four promo codes for you to consider, but there really is just one that stands out for me. With the promo code Monkey King, you will receive a legendary champion with the ability to block and steal buffs. He also has a self-revive in his kit. He's gonna be a phenomenal champion to carry you through early game and even mid game of your raid journey. So this is the code I would personally use if I started playing raid today. However, I have three more codes for you to consider. First one is Raid for Kellen. That code will get you Kellen the Shrike, an epic champion that has very powerful AoE damage. You can also consider Raid for Mord, which will get you Mordecai, also an epic champion that is one of the best HP burn placers in the game. Or lastly, you could also consider Raid War Maiden. That will deliver you a rare hero that is simply wanted for her AoE decrease in defense. All of the above codes are for fresh characters only. Again, I would personally pick Monkey King, but you can pick any of the four you prefer. And to top it all off, if you're an already existing raid player, you can enter the code I love raid and you will get a rare hero preserver and some other goodies. So, what are you waiting for? Download Raid Shadow Legends for free using my link in the description or again simply scan the QR code and do not forget to use one of the promo codes now. So I guess it's time for us to buy the second pair of the Smith's outfit. Let's get the gloves. Oh wait, this could be bad. Why the gloves? I need ice gloves. Hold up, apparently you can use this on this. Ah, there we go. Okay, good, good, good. Smith gloves imbued. Yeah, 303k for this one, and I need to start doing birdhouse runs in between these. 333k, that should be another level. There's level 93 smithing, we can now go shop, we have the gloves, we have the body. Never mind, I need to do one more. Another 330k, and this is handing in 25 completed swords. I do believe there's another task for 50 and there's another task for 100. So I do believe this might be basically what we do till 50 mil smithing. But if I quickly jump into the shop right now, again, we have the body, we have the gloves, we have the points. Let's get the trousers next. I look kind of sick, actually. Look at us. We look like a demon. All right, I'm gonna try to get the last slot, which is boots, and then we maybe change activity for a bit. And there's another 300k XP. 
if I step away, that should now be 94 smithing, 312k. Hand it in, 330k, click shop, we have enough reputation. Let's go ahead and we got body, legs, gloves, let's get boots. I hope this is a task. It definitely is a task. How many points are we talking? That is a 80 pointer. We're up to 44,300 points. I might as well do one more so we round it up to 95 for now. There it is, enough smithing for now. That's the biggest XP drop, 364,000. There's level 95, we can now make rune battle axes, but really, we're gonna move on to something else. I'm still gonna commit to skilling. How about we get base 90s? And I finish this 280k agility XP. Base level 90 is completed, 90 agility also completed, and I can't really do art decors unfortunately, but I'm gonna do a few more laps right now, wait for my bird nests to grow, do a little bit of fire making at the same time, and uh, yeah, just keep skilling for the start of today. Here is 92 runecrafting, a little bit of runecrafting while I'm waiting for bird houses to grow. I was unlucky on a willow seed yet again. Here is 93 runecrafting. I don't know if I can get one more, maybe I can get one more, maybe two more, we'll see. And there is 95 rune crafting. perfect, I'm almost out of rune essence. I could be doing Guardian of the Rift till 99, there's a bunch of points associated with that as well. But I'm probably gonna skill hop, do something else, maybe aim for base 95s. I mean agility would be a little bit annoying to get, herb I can get easily by just getting a willow seed, hunter should be very simple, and uh, mining should be pretty simple. Farming would be a little bit annoying though. I guess that willow seed is not gonna show up by itself so what i'm gonna do right now is i'm gonna do mole fire making i need to get five fire making levels and there's a lot of running around but once i do run into the mole i can just fight it and then when i need to chase the mole around i just light logs and it should be easy enough apparently that's a task as well now the problem here is i literally am missing one task and all of these would be auto noted but i guess i just have to note this myself it shouldn't be that bad it's just gonna be a little bit annoying I'm just gonna do like 10 kills, then cash it in, hope for Willow Seed. 10 kills, cash it in, hope for Willow Seed, and just keep doing that. Well, I got another Willow Seed. Let's hope this one doesn't die. I can't protect it, by the way, because I can't make a basket of apples. And I have two Willow Seeds, that's even better. There we go, just like that, I have completed the entirety of museum. And look at these lamps. I actually didn't realize how many you get. I don't know what to do with the excess fossils, but I'm very certain I've completed everything there is. And I have a ton extra, which I don't know why I cleaned all of those, but that is completely fine. Herbler, yeah. Herbler is the pick of our choice where we'll be putting all of these lamps. So start off with 56k, 56k, 56k... 56k, oh it's beautiful, 80k for that one, another 80k, another 80k, that's a level up, we're now 95 herb, also as soon as my willow is grown, we're gonna get even more lambs that we can put on herbler, so I don't think it's gonna be a problem getting to 99, I'm gonna be honest, but there it is, almost 96, what do I do next, I think I'm gonna do some hunter, I'm very close to 95. This is a quick reminder to let you know that if you are enjoying leagues, you should probably subscribe. Nice and easy, 95 Hunter. I'm trying to fire make whilst training this and it's honestly pretty decent so I'm gonna stay here a little bit longer. Here's 95 fire making as well. There is 96 Hunter. I might push all the way to 99 right now to be honest. Up to 97 Hunter, 96 fire making and I'm getting about 2 million Hunter and 1.5 million fire making XP just running around the island doing herbivore and lighting my logs. If I got to 98 I might as well finish it up and get 99 as well. All this skilling and I finally have a cat. I can now speak to my cat and that's a task. For 10 points, by the way. I did, not, I did not know that was 10 points. I thought it would be a little bit more. It takes like three hours to grow this thing. Anyways, getting very close to the 99 Hunter. Let's finish it off. Here it is, another 99 on the account. We now have 99 Hunter as well. There are some tasks about it, like catching a lucky impling, dragon impling, stuff like that that I haven't done. But if you were wondering how many herbivore you're supposed to catch from level 80 to 99, it's exactly 270. I did all of it through herbie, simply because, well, herb is gonna be hard for us to train. We ended up getting a nice amount of supplies, so I guess we could do something a little bit more active right now, even though I've been really into skilling lately. I have done way too much skilling lately, so I came back to next. Maybe we get lucky. I'm gonna do maybe a kill, two, three, we'll see, and then we'll continue trying to max. All right, little solo next. Let's take a look what do we get. 
some death runes. Okay, another solo next. We're gonna tactically die here. And we get some solo rune and uncut diamond. I will be returning to skilling. I think I'll do either agility or mining. I'll figure it out. And finally, after many failed attempts, here's a little basket and that completes all of my diaries. So we've completed literally everything there is to do. Desert fully done, Falador fully done, Fremeni completed, Karamja done, Lumbridge and Draenor completed, and Varrock completed. Every single diary is done. I'm gonna go ahead and claim all of the rewards, put them into Herblor, and AFK mining for the rest of the night. The best part about getting all these diaries done is I can now kill like 300 mole and all stuff like that, and it's actually gonna be fairly efficient. So, but first, let's uh, use it on Herblor. 40,000. Another one on Herblor. 120,000. This one should give us a level. There is level 96 herb. Beautiful. And one more for 800,000. We're almost 97 herbler, which is really, really good. Here is 92 farming. Good morning. The push for max is very much real. And after this 99, I will actually do a little bit of PV. And it's going to be a PV with skilling involved. So it's going to be interesting. But there it is 99 mining. Also out of the way, one of the most annoying ones, I'd say. And right now my goal is to kill Mole. Obviously now we have Elite Falador Diary, so it's gonna be easier. And do fire making at the same time. And after that, I'll do Mole and do Fletching at the same time. And that's gonna give us seeds to then do farming. So I'm really in the maxing mood at the moment. And I'm gonna keep going, we're not too far off. I really do hope this will work. There is a combat achievement on Giant Mole to kill it in four instances of damage. I am really hoping that my Undying Retribution works. There we go. Does it work? Ah, beautiful. Okay, so completing giant mole achievements will be easy. And there it is. That is 25 moles completed in a row. Right now I'm gonna push all the way to 100. There is a task to cash in 100 mole claws. Uh, but also combat achievements, bosses and mole. This is now fully completed. Beautiful. I mean, these tasks are very easy. The only hard one is to kill it in four instances of damage, which we easily cheesed. There is 98 fire making. I do need to kill 48 more moles. I'm hoping that's gonna be enough to finish all the way to 99. Uh, the best part about this place is I'm getting constant resupply of U logs, so I can actually just burn those down right now. And with this small kill, we should now have 100 more claws. We can now cash this in and hopefully get some good seeds so we can train our farming. The relic regret of the farming relic, man, it's so hard to train these skills without a farming relic, I swear. But we're not that far off. So let's see how many seeds we get. Okay, that worked. That's 40 points for cashing in 100. And we'll go to the bank and open these. And please, I need spirit seeds, I need magic seeds. Wait, mole might be OP, by the way. Like, what is this? 250 seeds? How many did we get in total? 256 bird's nests. I think that is a lot, not gonna lie. Okay, I can't note this, so we're just gonna grab 10, open 10, see the kind of seeds we get, and move on. Mahogany, amazing. Yeah, this is gonna take me a bit of time. I'm not gonna show everything, but I'll keep all the good seeds, I'll put them here, and in the end, we'll see how many good ones we got. <laughs> Obtain a magic seed from a bird's nest is also a task. So, so far, we are actually getting very decent seeds. Nine mahoganies, two yews, four teaks, two maples, kalquats, two of those, one spirit and one magic. I'm really hoping to get one more spirit seed. That's a task that I would love to complete. But those are very rare. Alongside magic seeds, those are like really hard to get. But uh, all of that is actually very decent XP. We will make sure to put all of this into saplings and start planting them immediately after we open all of this. That was very much worth it. Three spirit seeds, one magic seeds, three calquats, a couple of maples, six ticks, 11 mahoganics, and two yews. Don't know if that's gonna be enough for 99, but it's gonna help us on the way tremendously. This is one of the things I wanted to do on the account for a while. Here's Spirit Tree and Fairy Ring. It's also going to be a point task, 200 for that. We're now on 45,000 without really focusing on points today at all, which is really good. And now I also have two Spirit Seeds that I can plant, and I basically hope that one of them does not die. So one of them is going to go in Brimhaven, and one of them is going to go on Ecteria, and we just hope one of them survives, basically. How nice would it be to have a Farmer's Relic right about now, but there's 94 farming, and I'm literally doing farm runs every chance I get. I'm currently in the process of using all of my ingredients that I can to see how close to 99 Herb I can actually get, and here is 97. Two more levels to go. 
98 was very doable with the supplies we had. Maybe I can push all the way to 99. We had to drop all the way down to Guam's, but there it is. Arguably the hardest 99 with my relics, but I used all of the lamps from all of the diaries on this skill. And I'm happy I did because I do not have enough supplies to finish it otherwise. So there's 99 herb and looking at the stats, man, the maxing seems really doable. Fire making super close, fletching super close, smithing. I'm f I think I'm going to leave runecrafting agility till the very end. Let's get a few more 99s. There is 98 fletching, one more level to go, and fire making is almost done. We are getting there. And there is 99 fire making as well. Next one on the list will be fletching. And just like that, 99 fletching. I had to dig into some of my logs in order to finish this one off. And all of a sudden, if you take a look into our stats, we are not that far away from being maxed. I mean, runecrafting is going to be a bit annoying because I'm out of essence, so I might need to do it the slow way. Agility is literally just clicking agility for a while, and farming is a bit frustrating. However, smithing I see here on the list, and I think this is going to be the next one I'll be working towards. And at the same time, I'll be doing farming whenever possible. <laughs> I believe this is going to be my method to finish my smithing since I have no other ore anymore. So I'm just making steel bars and uh, I'll do this all the way. Uh, it's still decent XP, like 3 mil an hour is uh, not too bad at all. Here is 98 smithing. I'm making all of the bars into plate bodies, which I will later on alk for, well, money. And uh, yeah, one more level to go. And just like that, almost if I calculated it, well, I didn't. Uh, there is 99 smithing as well. We are... Very close to max, really, uh, but I do believe now it is time for me to park myself on top of the agility rooftops and uh, hate my life for a few hours and uh, just knock this agility out. I genuinely think I'm just gonna go watch TV and do this on a laptop, but before I go, I might do a quick farm run as well. There is 95 farming and I'm planting absolutely everything possible for my regions because this is gonna be a little bit annoying to get to 99. Here is 96 farming and I also started to do regular farm runs every single hour so I think I'll be able to get to 99. I didn't realize how big of a point task this is but there's 95 agility and that's a big one. We got 400 points for this. That's huge. I am slow at these levels that are far between each other man. My, my relic choices right now, the little trickster seems very tempting. The farming relic seems, oof, all oh, so great right now. Pushing through it, I'll get maxed, but god damn it's slow, man. There is 96. Three more levels to go, slowly losing my sanity. It is a brand new day, and every single hour for the last too many hours, I've been coming here to this Falador patch, planting watermelons and picking them up and we're now on 98 farming 98 agility literally doing the final push and uh, we're almost done i can see the finish line it's doable it's definitely doable and these watermelons man they're slept they're slept on how good they are i'm getting 1k xp per watermelon we're slowly making our way to 99 791 laps later dude there it is man this one was Yo, I spent the whole of yesterday what it feels like running these damn laps, but there is 99 agility and obviously we have two skills left. Farming is passive, nothing I can do about it. I do my little herb patches every hour and that's all we can do. But runecrafting, we can do a little bit of cooking. So I could do the mini game, or I could do soul wars and hope I get essence. I don't know which way I'd go, but dude, I'm just happy to have agility out of the way. I'm gonna be honest. Okay, so what I'm gonna do right now, let's just say I've been working on a certain something here on the Mika V3, but I can do Soul Wars just 1v1ing myself basically, and we'll open five at a time, hope I get essence, and hopefully this doesn't take too long. Come on game, give me essence. Oh, then, <gasps> another pet, there's no way. Third pet this league, by the way. Little creator, that's crazy, and 10,000 essence on top of that. Now that's crazy, by the way. That's crazy. We got Nex, we got the TOA pet, and now we got the little creator on top of that. That's crazy. Wait, I'm gonna chuck him in the house. There is absolutely no way that just happened. Okay, we open this as well to see if we get more essence. We don't, but that is so crazy. We actually got a pet, man. He is so cool. I think it's one of the coolest pets. It's not that hard to get, but it looks so sick.
Here we go, we let him roam for a few months right here with his other pets. There's the creator, there's Nextling, and there's the TOA pet. Oh, they look so sick. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna use this essence right now, see how much we get. I really should make this into a tiara as well. So I know for a fact I don't have enough essence right now, but this is going to be my best method. In order for me to reach 99, I get most XP making Lorons, I think. Once you have the essence, and if you don't want your fingers to fall off, the XP per hour is actually kinda crazy. I'm uh, averaging 22 mil an hour, so yeah. If I have enough essence, 99 rune crafting is very easy. I got up to pretty much 97 rune crafting with the last essence batch. Yes, 11,000 more. Let's go do some more. Here is 97, two more levels to go. I'm seeing the light, I'm seeing the finish line, it's so close. There is 98 and uh, I don't have enough essence, but I'm nearly there. We now have everything but runecrafting completed and I didn't do more soul wars. I just went and mined 5000, I just AFK'd, I'm gonna be honest. So we got the essence, let's finish off the last 99 and then claim the best cape in the game. And there it is, 99 runecrafting, max total, 400 points for that one. We're up to 47,000. And there is a uh, reaching level a 99 rune crafting for bonus points as well. This is sick. I'm so excited. And the best part about this, the fact that we are maxed is also the fact that we have Asgarnia. So we have everything we need in order to get a max cape. So let's go ahead and uh, let, let, let's do a little max cape situation real quick. Here we go. Two full days of skilling and focusing on finishing all these 99s with arguably not ideal relics. We are now... Finally here in front of Mr. Mac and I'm gonna buy two Max capes. One is for the flex, one is for the utility. So if I ask him what he has in the sack, we should be able to buy the cape for a pretty expensive price of 2,277,000 gold. And we'll buy it twice, so we're gonna be pretty broke. But I do believe this moment on any of the accounts and I have maxed every single league that I've played so far. This, I feel like, is the coolest moment. When you have the max cape, you finished all the skills, and now all we can focus on is points. And not gonna lie, my points are pretty decent. I mean, we are at the point where we are almost in dragon tier, and I haven't really been straight up focusing points at all. So maybe in the next following episodes, I might try to really grind out points and go maybe for some leaderboard positions, we'll see. But before we do that, let's buy one more cape. Actually, before I do that, let's just see if the game allows me to use my Mazori Assembler on the Max Cape. This is the first time, by the way, I have ever had a Mazori Assembler Max Cape. I don't even have this on my main account. This is sick, but man, these Arma Chain Skirts are ruining it for me. So I guess the next goal on the account, we need to get Mazori Chaps. We need to start saying no to the rings, get the chaps, and we're gonna be looking very, very good. There it is, another max cape, and now the rest is just us making a bunch of money and going for points in the future episodes. As always, I really do hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. If you did, give it a like. I know it was a lot of skilling, a lot of 99s. It took a lot of time to get as well. So a simple comment and like. You can help me out big time with that. Oh, and super quickly, just a quick reminder to check out Raid. They have been kind enough to sponsor today's video. I would really appreciate it and I think you will enjoy the game. And that being said, I will see you again in a day or two with another Leaks video. Have a beautiful rest of your day and bye-bye.